This is the time when those of you who have children who may have gotten one of these in the mail, I invite you to make sure that they are ready. Don't open them yet, unless you already have, but have them ready. This has traditionally been a day, when, a time of day when we offer a children's homily. And so even if you don't have children with you, I enjoy, I encourage you to feel and be a child at heart this night. I want to ask you something, children. Can you imagine Christmas when you open presents and everything's been opened and you're all excited and ready to look at your new things? And then you notice behind, kind of at the back of the tree, there's one more present, all wrapped up. And nobody's taking it. One more present. Now, do you think you could leave one of your presents behind, hidden in the back by that tree? Could you leave it for a day, for a month, for a whole year, maybe, forever? Could it just stay out of the way? Unfortunately, that happens. One of the greatest gifts sometimes does not get unwrapped. So let's unwrap this one. Ah. I hope you can see. What I have is the baby Jesus in his manger. This is the gift. This is the piece we don't ever want to forget to unwrap. But sometimes people do. They leave it all packaged up their whole lives. But not you. You have a life that says you can open this, and I hope you will. Opening that gift opens so many more. And you receive the gift of love from God in this baby. And just like a baby might be handed to you in your arms, you get to hand it to others. You give that gift. So get out your envelopes, if you will. And let's look at who's in them, what's in them. You may have already done this, and that's all right. Just do it again with me. I look at all of what's in here, and the first thing that seems interesting is that the envelope now becomes a barn. And then out of it comes this. What do you suppose that is? I think it must be the straw, the hay, that's in that barn, that softens that manger. And what else? Ah, who else? We have Joseph. And we have Mary. And I wonder what sort of gifts you can imagine Mary and Joseph offering this night. Joseph, making sure Mary stays warm with the baby. Mary, holding and reassuring the infant Jesus, feeding him, looking at him, counting those fingers and toes like we sometimes do with babies, and simply loving him right back. We did talk also about the angel who came and you have an angel in yours. And the angel came to announce what was to happen. And what was that that was happening? Come on, you know. Yes. The baby. Jesus is born. That is the other piece that we don't ever want to forget to unwrap. 
and to lead us, to lead Magi and others to him, God put a special star in the sky. And so they found their way, and so can you. One thing I like about this funny little felt pocket full of people and things is that you can put everybody right back in and take it with you. You can tell the story anywhere you want. It won't hurt them to go outside and get dirty. It won't hurt them to go on a car trip. You get to open that gift and take the Christ child with you in your heart, in your pocket, wherever you are. The Christmas began in the heart of God, but it is not complete until it is in each of our hearts. Complete that love and that gift tonight and always. Amen. <laughs>